Ibada zote ni zako. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus Christ, mighty name, we worship today. Amen, 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 amen. Amen. Tuashukuru Mungu kwa pamoja. Baba yetu na Mungu wetu katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Tuomba uwepo wako na hema yako na nguvu zako Bwana zikazidi kudhihirika katika kizazi chetu katika ibada hii. Tunakushukuru kwa rehema na neema yako. Tunakushukuru kwa ulizi wako kwa afya na tumaini ndani yako Kristo Yesu. We are grateful O oh God. Receive our thanksgiving, our praise and our adoration O oh God. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. Tukia bwana Yesu makofi tunapokaa chini kokote uliko. Na kokote unapotutazama. God bless you so much. You can have your seats while we are on site. Nashukuru Mungu kwa nafasi hii kupata nafasi hii kudumu. My name is Pastor Isaac. Nimekoka Yesu ni bwana na hudumu pale Heaven's Gate Prayer Mountain na pia Aera na Church in Dandora Kingdom Seekers Fellowship. Na tunashukuru Mungu kwa nafasi hii uh, ya kuwa katika madhabahu haya siku ya leo. Tulianza topic ambayo niipatia kichwa the four altars the four altars the four these four altars ni zile ambazo mtumishi wa bwana uh, i said maybe maybe a short recap nikasema in his lifetime abraham our father in faith raised uh, in category not in number in category four forms or categories of sacrifices Na hizo sacrifices zinasimamia the sacrifices also in our day we need to raise ambazo ukiangalia Abraham by the time he rested he left an impact he left uh, uh, an influence ambayo mpaka siku ya leo tunaisikia na nikaweza kusema kwamba altar ya kwanza aliweza kuinua nikasema kwamba it's the altar of salvation in the book of Genesis 12:6 to 7 uh, that's the first time we hear Abraham then called Abram akinua madhabahu what distinguished abram from terah is this one single act wakati alipokuwa amesikia mungu akuje alipotii na akaja the first one of the first three things he did was to raise an altar nikasema in the previous chapter to chapter 11 the last verse the last two verses he talks of terah terah was the father to abram na abram Tunakomba tena hakuwa hakuacha impact yote isipokuwa kwamba alikuwa die baba ya Abraham na very short story about him and he left one day he felt that uh, first impression leave this country and go to Canaan hageweza kuelezea kwa nini amesikia hivyo we are not told that god spoke to him but that impression hata kuanza safari na ka hiyo hata kuambia watu wa bomoe hema wafunge virago zao waweke guo kwa bags kuna kitu alikuwa amesikia na nikasema asubuhi kama ni vizuri kuelewa kuanza kusikiza Mungu at a very basic level the first very basic level ya Mungu kunenenea it's that impression you feel unakutana na mtu tu for no apparent reason unasikia tu kumuogopa for na lakini unaanza kujiuliza bona bora ninamchukia tu for nothing it was a first impression if you don't follow that voice baadaye utakuja kujikuta kwa shida there was a deal you are supposed to get into a business a partnership then you have this sick feeling in you what we will ignore that still small voice abaye wakati wewe mbia hujui ni Mungu anakunenea lakini that impression utaichi ukisema kwamba and i had felt ni kama hii deal haitaisha vizuri so we see uh, the father of abram who was terah akasikia umusukumo from akaza kusikia tu acha nihame hapa niende lakini bible says akafika haran hakufika destination yake kanan akakaa hapo baby for whatever reasons historians say ya kwamba uh, that that city or that uh, township or wherever it was it was a very lucrative trading center because it was one of the stopovers ya the uh, the popular transaran trade so watu wagepitia hapo kuna vile wagekuja wanatulia hapo so it was a very lucrative a business center na kadaganyika so wakati alikosa kuchukua nafasi yake god had to kuondoa ile mandate ambayo ingekuwa juu yake akaipatia abraham nabii anasema god had told abraham chapter 12 verse 1 and with thank god the next three verses tunasikia akitoa dhabihu nikasema that's the sacrifice the first sacrifice we need to raise and he raised was the altar he raised an altar of salvation 
Then tukaendea tukasema kwamba after some time ameinua ile dhabihu lakini akaanza kutembea tembea hivyo akateremka mpaka Egypt Kule Egypt karibu apoteze mke wake huko kwa sababu Mungu hako anamhitaji kule hata kimwagilisha chapter chapter cha hiyo chapter 12 hakumwambia kwamba nitakupatia Egypt Egypt haikuwa sehemu ya urithi aliyomwambia So he comes back to the same point again where he had first raised his altar and where he had first laid his uh, uh, his tent the first time na kainua madhabahu ya pili nikasema hayo madhabahu it's an altar of determination he now purposed i'm serving god and because i want to serve god there are things that have to change i have to let go rot maana the next verse hiyo chapter ikienda kuisha he let go rot na with a very clean heart mtu ambaye ameanza kushughulikiwa na Mungu ndani ya moyo wake hata hajitaki makuu anasema wewe ukitaka kwenda upande wa juu mimi nitaenda upande wa chini wewe ukienda upande wa chini nitaenda upande wa juu because he was determined at whatever cost kama kile kitafanya tushikamane na nikose kutembea na Mungu ni wewe ama tutavishana kwa sababu ya uh, ya, ya utajiri ama maybe kwa sababu umekuwa na kondo wengi na ngombe wengi na mimi niko nazo uh, if that was so to hinder me from giving god my best wacha tuachane take the best land na tukaona the reasoning of rot alisema hizo prints alienda zinaka kama za kule egypt bana yesu asifiwe but i thank god there was a transformation journey abraham had started walking alianza kutembea ina transform i thank god for the, uh, for the for the one of that season tumekuwa nayo uh, days of transformation na sema kwamba transformation haikuisha wakati tumeweza the 21 the first day it is a work in progress even today even today as we talk there is a work happening the bible says in the book of proverbs chapter 4 verse 18 that the path of the righteous is like the first gleam of the dawn shining brighter and brighter and brighter i believe this month i must be brighter than january and april i shall shine better than the month of march hallelujah therefore this is not a, a one off thing the transformation journey is not a one off thing it is a walk it is a journey na apostle one of the remarkable statements he made in that season alisema one of the greatest the greatest need of every unbeliever is salvation but the greatest need of every believer is transformation and it is not a one off thing it is a walk hallelujah now tukasema katika uh, uh, hiyo level ya pili ya determination there are many things he worked on uh, kuna mambo mengi ambayo aliweza kubadilika mawazo yake yakabadilika focus set in uh, he separated there was a, a great uh, separation akajua kwamba he should not run to egypt he led in the book of isaiah 36:6 inasema kwamba uh, 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 those who trust in the staff the blessed and the broken lead egypt which pierces the hands of any man who leans on it na kawacha kulin on egypt akaanza kulin na mugo peke yake now that was not enough he is not yet out of the woods nikasema katika levo ya pili in the altar much as he has reached the altar of determination in level number two, bado wanapigania land na rot kwa sababu ngombe wamekuwa wengi kondoo wamekuwa wengi kuliko ile space na pastures ambazo ziko available now we see abraham now goes to the next level na tusoma kwenye kitabu cha genesis chapter 13 uh, from uh, verse 17 to verse 18 genesis chapter 13 Okay we we tunaza rudi nyuma kidogo tuanze verse 14 for clarity uh kuelewa 14 13:14 The Lord said to Abram after Lot had departed from him lift up your eyes from where you are and look north and south and east and west all the land that you see i'll give to you and your offsprings forever i'll make your offsprings like the dust of the earth so that if anyone could count the dust then your offsprings could be counted 
go, walk through the length and the breadth of the land and I'm, that I'm going to, uh, that for I'm giving it to you, 18. So Abraham moved his tents and went to live near the great Mamre, tree of Mamre at Hebron, where he built an altar to the Lord. This is now the, the third incidence of the servant of God raising an altar. Nay altar, if you would look uh, uh, verse to verse, vire mungu alivyo mnenea, uh, maybe straight as through the verse 15. Verse 15, the same verse, the same chapter 13, 15. All the land that you see, I'll give to you and your offsprings. Mungu na mwambia kwamba, it's like, all this while, ni kama, kuna, katika hiyo levo ya kwaza na apiri, kuna vile machi yake haja funguliwa. Mungu alipo na determination yake, ame separate na rot. Alimuambia sasa, kuna hii landi mriko muna pigania. Lift up now your eyes from where you are, and look northward, southward, eastwards, east, westwards. That land that you see, that land I'll give to you. Katika hii level ya tatu, hapo sasa diyo ukipo inuwa hii thabihu, na alipo, alipo kuwa na ile encounter na mungu, diyo sasa alipatiwa ruhusa, alipata sasa legal mandate ya kupokea land. Kwa sababu, ameweza kupita levo ya pili. Nikasema wakati mingine, kile kimezuidia watu wengi kupita one level, na I think I read that scripture in the book of uh, Jeremiah 48 verse 10. Inasema kwamba Moab has been at his uh, hajawai, badilishu, hajayeda, exile. He has not been uh, 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 taken from, emptied from one vessel to another. And therefore, his taste has remained the same. And two, his smell has remained the same. I believe in the smell Abraham alikuwa nayo akiwa levo ya kwanza is not the same alikuwa nayo akitika levo ya pili na tukasoma kwenye kitabu cha Hebrews bila sema kwamba kama wangekuwa wangetaka wage kutazama nyuma wangerudi lakini sasa walikuwa wamebadilishwa wakaona nchi iliyo mbele yao wakaanza kuangalia mbele na Biblia inasema kwamba and God was not ashamed to be called their God Sasa mungu haibiki tena kuitu wa mungu wa, wa, wa Abraham. Ata kama at this point ajabadishu wa jina, mungu wa nashida, akamambia sasa ni miona determination. Na kusabu mekubali kutolok from one, one vessel to another, I can feel that smell. Your taste is different, your smell is different. Now I give you the ability to own land. Sasa now two things had to work here. Jabra kwaza ni ya kwamba, ni lazima macho yake ya geona vizuri. Ni lazima sasa ngetua. Iyo, the, 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 uh, let's read verse 14. Verse 14, uh, NIV version. 13, 14, NIV version, ya yeah, yeah, the same scripture. Kitiwe soma, Genesis 13. 13, 14. The Lord said to Abraham after Lot had parted from him, lift up your eyes from where you are. Lift up your eyes from where you are. In this level, Mungu na mwabia Abraham, kuna hile hali yuko sahi. Ata unangali urona komba, there is no enough land. Your, your, your livestock have outgrown their pastures. But now I want you to raise your eyes from where you are in level three. This, this level three, ama he alter your dedication. Yeah, yeah, not your dedication. We are in occupation. In this level of occupation, for you to occupy, you have to see. Katika level he, that's when our spiritual eyesight is worked on. Unawacha kuona hile hali uko dani yake. Unawacha kuona kiwango wabacha uko. No matter how high you think you are, 
or how low you think you are, how desperate the situation seems, the barrenness of, of the wife, the, 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 uh, the situation in your kuwa hapo, mungu na mwabia sasa, toa macho yako hapa, maana ukiweka macho yako hapa, hauta kuna kule mbele, kule nataka wende. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. And in this level, mungu akamsaidia, akaweza kuinua macho yake, na kanza kuona, akaona upeo wa upadu wa kusini, kaskazini, magaribi, mashariki, Arafu akambua mahali popote utakapo kanyagisha migu yako. That land I will give you. Na katika levo hii, sasa tumeona, ameanza, amepatiwa sasa power. In, in, wacha ni, in, in nutshell, wacha ni shie mambu kadhaa, ambayo alifanyika. Tulipo soba katika levo ya kwanza, tulisema kwamba, the Canaanites were still in the land. Lakini sasa katika hii levo, amepatiwa nguvu na uwezo sasa na mamlaka, ya kuanza kusukuma the Canaanites out of the land. All along hatuja sikia mahali ya mejaribu kusukuma yote, lakini katika hii level, amepatiwa luhusa sasa ya kuanza kusukuma ma Canaanites. So he was given, he could now access new lands. Two, he could now legally engage in warfare. Maybe wacha nisipome hapo kidogo. Nisema ki, jabu moja limefanya many Christians to become casualties in spiritual warfare. Ni wakati mtu anaza kupigana vita na haja fika levo ya kupigana vita. Kuna watu mtu ameshe kuja kanembia vile ame, ame, ame kuwa kiomba akiingia warfare. Kwaza hile siku atatua dhabi wa wekele hapa kwa madhabahu. Aseme hiyo ni battle seed kwa sababu ya maleji yangu. Hiyo siku kuendelea. Hell breaks rules. Anambia kila mana minikituwa dhabihu. So na msikiza anambia, tell me more about yourself. Unakuta kuna maruples, kuna gaps, kuna legal grounds. Ni kumabia wewe, approach yako ya kwenda ulimwegu wa kilo, usiwai jaribu kuigiria mragu wa warfare. Kwa sababu, kama ujafika level ya kupika na warfare, kama kuja patiwa license ya kilo ya kuigia kwa warfare, utakuwa kashoti. Utakuwa kitolea ye biyashara dhabihu. Inakuwa skatari kabisa. Unajaribu ku, ku, kupigana vita, even making, wengine wakipigana warfare. Kuna watu watu wana advice, ukisikia tu mebiwa tuigia kwa warfare, we igia kwa worship tu. Pole, we as a tu kwa worship, mabia, Father, I thank you, Father, I thank you. Kwa sababu kuna mahali utenda kukuza hivi, marawa itakuuliza nani wewe, nani ya mekuwabia ukuja hapa? Why did Abraham, did Abraham fight the first level, or the second level? In fact, you want to very timid. Anaida paka kule kwa, 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 kwa misiri. Ha? Anaogopa Paka nabia mke wake tutakanyange hapa Hapa, hapa ni chahekima Sasa usema we ni my sister Kwa sababu ni ukisema we ni mke wako tutakufa Lakini sasa mungu wame muambia Lift up now your eyes from where you are from From where you are standing The place of fear and intimidation Ondoka sasa Inuka macho sasa This land Wherever you see Is all yours But I was here So now you can legally Fight war. Wakati Joshua one, Joshua one is the same. It's like this replica here of scripture. Uh, wakati Joshua liyabua, Joshua one three. Every press where you, you, the sole of your feet shall tread upon. That have I given to you. Ni mungu na mwabia, musu na mwabia, Joshua. Mauta kanigisha bigu. That, that word tread in, in Hebrew, ni barak, b a R-A-K, unajua ma, maneno ya, ya, ya kihibri ya kona kuna vile huwa ya naingiana the same word can mean different things inyamanisha take up your weapon and fight for it that to trade in Hebrew kizugu inasema ni kutrade lakini kwa kihibirania it's to it's, it, 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 it is to barak inikumanisha ni uchukue siraha sasa aza kupigana. Bona akiwa level ya pili, hakupigana vita. Ni kwa sababu, without dedication, there is a level of warfare. Kuna vita wezi pigana. Wezi kuwa une, uko kwa dhambi, na umelana kwa dhambi jana usiku, arafu kuja kwa lanchawa, na kuna marigali tesi zina kufuata. Ha? Ulimwegu wajiza, unasema, wewe, kuna mabu umefanya. Kuna kati unezaeda, aza kuombea mtu, mapipa yeze kuongea. Iseme huyu watuwezi muwacha, alifanya, alifanya na akafanya. 
Na kwa hivyo pasta pasta kwanza ile kuambia mtumishi wa Mungu atuwezi toka. Huyu alifanya hivi alikuwa amekuja kwetu kwa diviners. Tukampatia sijui nini. Na hata amechukua mume sasa sasa unagoja mtu arudi nomo unamkalisha chini. Unaweza kumuuliza swali, mniambie fulani ni nani? Anashtuka. Anaambia huyo ni boyfriend wangu lakini bas. Bobi hiyo mapepo sasa haiwezi toka kwa sababu huyo uko na legal ground. Shetani hawezi kuachilia, hatuwezi hata nikishida kwa nikitoa mapepo tutawaste time na utakombolewa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Lakini sasa hii level ame baada ya kufanya dedication sasa anointing all to kupatia holy communion na tunajua holy communion ufanya kazi na anointing all ufanya kazi na declaration ufanya kazi lakini kwa kwa sababu kuna Mungu anaangalia determination ambayo kuna ya wanaona bado wanakupima bila sema one of the thing Mungu fanya ni Yakobo kupima watu Mungu alisema nilikuwa uliyekirwa kwenye mizani ukapimwa ukaonekana temperature yako sikia mtu amekiingia pale amepigwa temperature wale ambao machine haijasema normal temperature hawako hapa <laughs> bana Yesu asifiwe ama kuna mtu ambaye machine ime, imetoa alarm bado uko hapa hawezi kuwa sasa in the city with the spiritual realm Mungu kuna vipimo huwa anaangalia na sasa alipoona ile determination ya Abraham akasema wa sasa hiyo ndio kuna utajiri utakuja mikoroni mwake ni sema wakati mwingine what we call poverty delay na unakuta kwamba kuna level hufiki kifinances Mungu kuna determination anaona huyu sasa ningetaka kumbariki na pesa harari za kutoka kwa ufalme wangu lakini kwa sababu uko kwa biashara kuna vitu unapokeaga na njia ya black market sasa hiyo mixture ya vitu za black market Mungu anakaa kando anasema okay wakati tutamaliza na vitu za black market utakuja kwangu lakini the moment umekuwa determined I'll never deal with this stuff that is the moment now unafungua mlango automatically there are things that in the spirit there are spiritual protocols to be observed if you don't no matter the amount of preachings you will receive if you are not determined Daniel chapter 1 and verse 8 not so many scripture is one of the one of the most powerful scriptures uh, Bazo have ever come across Minasema hivi Daniel chapter 1 and verse 8 But Daniel resolved not to defile himself with the royal food and wine and he asked the, the chief officials for permission not to defile himself this way Another version may be King James version the same verse King James version says now God no the same verse 1:8 1:8 King James version but daniel purposed ana sina haja na hizo statement nyingine yote daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself new living translation daniel was determined message bible message bible the same verse but daniel determined it's the same word now agalia those weighty words he was determined he purposed aliamua huo uamuzi that will power there is a level usipo kuruhusu your will power kuvuka yakoba i willingly stop this i'm willing nata siku moja mtu moja akakuwa akimwambia yesu jesus i'm willing help me in my unbelief hata fadhali uko kioba maombi mungu nataka kuachana huyu mtu ananifuata kwa facebook kwa youtube ako kila mahali ana Mungu disaidia kuachana na yeye. Anajua paka mali naishi hama. Mungu kuna determination ataona uko nayo. Aseme sasa wewe ume sasa nitakupatia na ile kazi. Wache ambao una, una maintain na mwili wako. Ile kazi ambayo the Bible says it's only the blessing of the Lord that maketh rich. It addeth no sorrow. Blessings with no strings attached zitakuja katika hiyo level. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sasa katika levo hii Mungu akamsaidia mtumishi wa Bwana akainua madhabahu ya occupation na hapo ndio Yesu aliongea that, that powerful statement occupy till i come occupy till i come akaanza ku occupy akaanza kupigana vita 
akainuka akabarikiwa I, 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 i felt ni, 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 ni major tu na na, na na one character uh, this man man of god abraham by chapter 15 he has increased so much he has expanded so much lakini bado kuna muujiza bado hujafanyika bwana yesu asiwe nimeshahidiwa na watu ambao wame break level ya kwanza wame break level ya pili wamejia level ya tatu level ya tatu sasa ako na kazi mzuri biashara hii inaendelea vizuri ako na kampuni tatu amefungua biashara branches kadhaa hata kuna nyingine anataka kufungua lakini lakini hakuna mtoto kwa hiyo ndoa sasa mtu anaangalia anasema hizi mali yote sasa sasa hata fadhika afadhali ingekuwa na nusu ya hii mali na nipate watoto bado Mungu kuna kitu anatafuta ukiona umefika hiyo levo I've seen ladies come to me. Mtu amesema mambo mazuri yako na gari, ako na bank account, amenua plot hata na jenga ni landlord. Lakini mtu wa kumuoa. Wengine tu wanakuja wakijua status yako. Wanaogopa. <laughs> Wanaswa siwe. The other day I was dealing with a man. Siko na madhani hata men wanakuwa na hiyo issue. Kambi pastor mini ya mini. Mpaka nikarudi nikamwangalia vizuri. Siku muuliza vile na kuuliza hivyo lakini nikajiuliza haya hata men where do you work kanembe nafanya kazi mahali fulani nimekoka kadi mekama kama fulani sasa miaka imeenda sasa mimi pastor nisaidie tuamini nipate mke wa kuoa karibu nilikuwa na temptation ya kujua siku na dada fulani najua ni fanya connection hapo <laughs> lakini unajua sasa mambo ya Mungu hayadagi hivyo ni unamwambia ndugu katalia hapo gochea Mungu usi make mistake ya kwenda kwa Egypt kutafuta msaada katalia kwa Mungu Sasa wakati nilipopata sasa hizo kesi kama hizo kadhaa nikafanya haya Yaani mtu amefika hii level na kuna mambo bado yafanyiki Ha Amefika level hiyo na hujachezwa na Roho Mtakatifu na wewe ni mzee wa kanisa Mbishe mtu amekuja kwa mlima akasema Pastor mimi sitoki kwa huu mlima mpaka nitajaza na Roho Mtakatifu. Sitoki. Hii yenyewe and sometimes mambo mengine wakati unakosa kuelewa. Yenyewe mnaomba na yeye hata maybe mnamwombea unaitana mpaka auto call. Dugu aliyokoka last year December 25. Anajazwa na Roho. Reka mashada na bagada. Unaangalia yule dugu amekauka. Oh God Jesus Holy Spirit Holy Spirit ajazwi ati unashindwa sasa waliokoka juzi amejazwa huyu amekaa kwa kanisani miaka saba hajajazwa ndio nikaelewa kuna level nyingine Mungu anatafuta <laughs> bwana Yesu asiwe na sasa hiyo level ya mwisho ambayo hata ile mtumishi wa bwana aliinua it's the altar of dedication the altar of dedication ni ile altar ya kwamba Okay, galaji between chapter 2 uh, the, 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 the first second between second and the third I'm occupy I'm mepata I to we going to time to get study the whole of chapter 15 but now time does not allow me to go to that level chapter 14 amenda kwa vita chapter 14 ya meshinda vita mpaka anakataa pesa ana ya men wa falme wa Sodom wamekuja na package billions of money wataka kumpatia wakamwambia hata kamba ya kiatu siwezi chukua usiwahi sema ya kwamba utajiri wenu ndio ulinitajirisha mimi nataka utajiri kutoka kwa Mungu this man was filled the feel the rich lakini hakuna mtoto sasa Mungu anataka sasa agro level ya kuwa na utajiri afike mahali utajiri uwe sio kitu kwake level ya ile it is where now it is not about having enough land having enough pastures for my flock it is not about driving the best car it is not about having a big bank account it's about me and god you are all that matters nani kwambia hiyo level sio mchezo abraham hapo katikati wamefanya abrakadabu amepata mtoto paka na haga mungu anatazama tu akiwa mbali akafikiria mungu amekubaliana na haya maneno chapter 15 verse 
kama tufike hapo 2017 tuka 2017 of uh, genesis ya yeah, 2017 of genesis Okay, ndio tushike vizuri wacha turudi nyuma to verse 14. Turudi verse 14, the like three verses. Uh, any circumcised male who has not been circumcised in the flesh will be cut off from his people. He has broken my covenant. Uh-huh. God also said to Abraham, as for Sarai your wife, you are no longer to call her Sarai. Her name will be Sarah. Sasa ni mabadilisho wa majina. I will bless her and will surely give you a son by her. I will bless her so that She will be a mother of many nations. Kings of peoples will come from her. 17. Abraham faced uh, face forward. He laughed and said to himself, Will a son be born to a man of 100 years? Will Sarah be a son? A child at the age of 90? And Abraham said to God, If only Ishmael might live under your blessing. Mungu akajibu. Lisa, mimi nataka mimi na mimi yangu kufika hii level. Tunaongea na Mungu hivyo kama mtu na mtu mwingine. Then God said, "Yes. But your wife Sarah will be a, you, are, you a son and you will call him Isaac. I will establish my covenant with him as an everlasting covenant for his descendant after him." Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sasa hii huyo verse nimesoma mama gisi jasoma pale lakini verse chapter 17 At this level paka jina lake limebadilishwa akaitwa Abraham Sarai akaitwa Sara majina kabadilika lakini bado mujiza hujafanyika maana hapo mbeleni amemess up na verse 5, chapter 15 verse 1 acha tusome chapter 15 verse 1 i drive home a certain point i feel 15 verse 1 of genesis after this so it's a journey After this is not at the beginning of a sentence. Divo mwalimu mwalimu wangu wa kizungu akiwa alikuwa right. Aliniambia after this is not at the beginning of a sentence it's a continuation. After this these things. The word of the Lord came to Abraham in a vision. Do not be afraid Abraham. I am your shield. You are very great reward. Aha, uh-huh. past two, last three. Okay, yeah. But Abraham said, "O sovereign Lord, what can you give me since I remain childless?" And the one who will inherit my estate is Elias of Damascus. Verse three. And Abraham said, "You have given me no child, so a servant in my household will be my heir." Verse four. Then the word of the Lord came to him: "This man will not be your heir, but a son coming from your own body will be your heir." So imagine the vita sasa Abraham na pigana. Ako level mungu amemfikisha. Na usiwahi despise any prophetic message. Lakini prophetic message ikitokea haimaanishi itatokea siku ya kesho. Nakumbuka kuna kati kwa tunapitia mambo magumu. Tunaenda kwa fellowship. Na baada ya fellowship tutakunywa ka strong tea na to slice to eat to mkate hivi. Si kuota to slice to eat na hiyo ndio sapa. Lakini zile nguvu za Mungu zimeshuka kwa hiyo fellowship. Mungu anasema gaya wa nego kanejo kete na digotera. Unasema bas ni uo. Mungu anakuja. Paka unaanza kufanya press up. Ukimaji hivyo Mungu atakuja. Oi. Hakuji kesho yake. Mara tuko chapter 15. Mungu akamwambia pana si si huyu. Na ukiangalia the same the next chapter 16 ndio anapata mtoto na na maid wake haga. Maana wakati mwingine kugoja Mungu sio mchezo. Maana Mungu anataka ku grow. Uache kulilai. In this level kuna mambo Mungu ana deal nayo. Ana deal sasa na mawazo. Hata chapter 17, sikia chapter 17 verse 17, wanaokea na Mungu ana inamba akicheka nafikia Mungu haoni. <laughs> Kwa sababu it doesn't seem logical. Mungu anamwambia hapana Nimesema sio huyu. Leo kwanza alikuwa nafikiria ni the, the house boy. Akamwambia sio huyo, akazaa mtoto akasema ndiye huyu basi. Aka Mungu akasema hapana. Akasema sasa. Wewe kutoka kwa ndani yako na kutoka ndani ya mke wako mtazaa mtoto. 
sasa hapo ndio Mungu akamkujia chapter now sio chapter 15 sio chapter 16 sio chapter 17 chapter 18 ndio Mungu atakuja kumtembelea baada ya sasa Okay, to say chapter 17 verse 1. In taste of time, 17 verse 1 so that we we pray. 17 verse 1, I wish you get time to study from 12 to kuendelea. It's a very powerful episode 17 verse 1 of Sema. When Abraham was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to him and said, "I am God Almighty. Walk before me and be blameless." Wacha kwanza tusimame hapo. Yeah. Niseme kwamba consecrational life kufanywa the, the, the reason why ukiangalia katika pattern yetu ya maombi every week we must have a day of repentance in fact there's a season we took a, a whole week of deep repentance because repentance is not a one off thing sio jambo la kuomba siku moja wanatembea na bado anamwambia chapter 15 anamwambia am your reward walk before me anakuja tena anamwambia walk before me and be blameless say yako miaka 99 nikwambia sasa hii dhambi ya natubu sio dhambi ati ya mababayo ni unaweza obvious kuna kitu mungu anaangalia ndani yake there is a dedication anaangalia now at 99 years to do depart to the scripture verse 2 verse 2 17 to i will confirm verse 2 yeah i will confirm my covenant between me and you and will greatly increase your number verse 3 abram fell face forward and god said to him as for me this is my covenant with you you be the father of many nations hallelujah mustali wake okay there are many verses um okay stack to end zaidi hapo lakini hapo tena kainua madhabahu mengine Si Mungu amemtembelea. Si angepata mtoto chapter 17, hakupata mtoto chapter 17. Mungu amemtembelea na akatembea karudi. Chapter 18 sasa ni maraika wanakuja. By chapter 18 he sees three men wakikuja. Bele ni ndipo kuna soma hii scripture in the past siko nimeelewa hii lakini the Holy Spirit help to pick this one. Abraham amekati nje ya hema yake. Wakati aliona watu watatu wakikuja, by this time he has sharpened his spiritual senses. His spiritual eyesight. He could be able to pick something that is of God and that which is not of God, hivi angechukua hivi. Na hiyo ndio level Mungu anataka tufike kwamba there are things you know, hata utahitaji kuomba, hata tuambie alikuwa naomba, he was seated outside his tent account akajua hawa ni watumi hawa ni malaika how he knew it kama angekuwa chapter 1 angekuwa level ya kwanza angejua bila sema that's why we should entertain people in our houses for some entertained angels without knowing wengine ule malaika alitumwa kwako alikuja zamani lakini vile alivyokuja ulimu dismiss the first thing in the morning how could you dismiss but dakika hii level ya consecration sasa The more you consecrate you dedicate yourself the more you get sharp ears sharp eyes and sharp discernment akawaambia msipite na waomba ukiangalia the statements he is using this rich man pride has been broken amekuja kuelewa this all this gold and silver and money in the bank and having an army of the over the dead men having influence having impact ninaogopa na watu kila mahali this is this is amount nothing if i don't have god in the book of romans chapter 4 this is now what god was looking for this is what god was waiting for romans chapter 4 tutasoma verse 16 tuendelee mpaka mahali nita tutafika from here verse 16 romans chapter 4 verse 16 therefore The promise comes by faith so that it may be by grace and be uh, and may be grant, guaranteed to all Abraham's offspring not only to those who are of the law 
But also, also those who are of the faith of Abraham. He is the father of us all. I inclusive. You inclusive. Verse 17. As it is written, I have made you a father of many nations. He is our father in the sight of God, in whom he believed. The God who gives life to the dead and calls things that are not as though they were. Verse 18. Against all hope. Abraham in hope believed and so became the father of many nations. Just as it had been said of him, so shall your offsprings be. Verse 19, without wicked in faith, he faced the fact that his body was as good as dead since he was about a hundred years old and that Sarah's womb was also dead. 20, yet he did not waver through unbelief regarding the promises of God, but was strengthened in his faith and gave glory to God. Verse 21, being fully persuaded that God had the power to do what he had promised. 32, this is why it was credited to him as righteousness. 24, 23, the word it was credited to him were written not for him alone, but also for me, for us to whom God will credit righteousness for us who believe in him who raised Jesus our Lord from the dead. Sasa Abraham ida never mefika niyo ya kwamba I'm persuaded, I'm fully convicted against all hope, I hope that I might become because this now imepita biology imepita masomo yote Lakini kile mungu walikuwa naangalia akimpeleka this whole journey was this last part. Dedication. By the time I fika kwa hiyo dedication kuji dedicate. Nothing mattered to him. Na hapo diyo ata wakati ipo pata mtoto. Akambua na hiyo diyo thabihu walitua. That's the altar he raised. The altar of dedication. Ata akiambua tuwe mtoto. The one son he had waited for decades. He had no problem. Hakuna kitu hagi wachiria. This son could not become an idol. Kama vile ngombe zikata kuwa idol gamia zake. Pesa hata mpesa za watu wa alio saidia wafalmu wale kuwa mete kwa nyara. Ali zikata. Akafika mahali. Hata kile mungu alisho mbaliki nacho. Even the promised son he waited for for years. He was ready to let go and have God. Wapendwa kuna levels mungu ataka tuingie kama kanisa. The Bible says those promises were not, these words were not only written for Abraham. They were also written for me, for you, for us, who believe in this God. Na huyo mungu alitebeza huyo Abraham from that humble idolatrous background. Akamleta na weakness zake. Mara nakimbia, anaenda kule kule misiri. Anarudi, anajiridi dedicate tena, anaendelea. Mungu anampa utajiri mkubwa. Badu anashikamana na mungu. Anamake mistake. Anaigia kwa mshana wa kazi. Anapata mtoto. Anamcollect. That's why the Bible says, a righteous man may fall seven times. But he stands again. Ata wale umianguka for whatever reason. Inuka mahali yuko. There is still hope for you. You can still move on and achieve the peak of your destiny. Sasa, Maybe to nail the, the, last, the last nail of the coffin was this. Sasa siya meda metuwa thabihu. Wa meda na mtoto. It's a long story. It's, a, it's like a character study. Ya Abraham. Na mabu wabao mengi wabao. Ya lifanyika kwenye maisha yake. Ukegale chapter 22. Sarah dies. 22, 22 verse 19. We read it like two verses. There's something I want us to pick here. Then we pray. 22 verse 19, Asema. Then Abraham returned to his uh, uh, servants. Sasa ni wakati ya meda kutuwa ya thabihu ya mwanae kule mulimani wa Mount Moriah. And he turned with his servants and they set off together for Belsheba. And Abraham stayed in Belsheba. Aha. Fast forward to chapter 
23 verse 1 and 2. Chapter 23 verse 1 and 2. Sarah lived to be 120 years old. Verse 2. She died at Kiriath Alba, that is Hebron, in the land of Canaan. And Abraham went to mourn for Sarah and to weep over her. Sita ide kutoka po, let me nyeleze tu. When it comes to this level of full and total dedication, sasa kijana metoka mulimani, akaeda akadithia mama yake vile alikuwa mewekerewa kwa madhabahu, na kisi yuko imetolewa akasema isipo kwa ni Mungu alikuja kijana kifikisha report mama akaeka mizigo kwa ngongo akahama so Abraham was staying in Belsheba but Sarah was staying in Hebron but as a civil nikwambie kuna level Mungu anataka tufike at a, at a place of Total dedication that there is nothing you will hold dear except him alone. Have you given your all to him? When there is nothing. The reason why today you are seated here, listening there, watching this, is because Abraham was it was credited to him as righteousness when he believed in God. But that's what's the It was credited to him. As righteousness, when he believed, wakati mungu alipu wangalia this full devotion kwake, akaona huyu mtu, ameniamini beyond any reasonable and unreasonable doubt. Against all hope, ameamini ya kwamba na anazafata mtoto. Akawacha kucheka hile kicheko cha, can it ever even happen? There is nothing that is, one singer sang the other day, akasema, what God cannot do does not exist. What God cannot do does not exist. Hiyo ndiyo lewa mungu anataka tufike. Tuamini ya kumba God can do anything. However he can do it, however he will do it. I don't care. All I know is that God will come through for me. God has given me this victory. Kuna hii amenipatia hapa ushindi, hapa sina ushindi. Siwamini mungu alikupatia ushindi huu. Ata kupatia hapa hapa pengine. Let you understand ya kumba ukiona alimekubali kunipanulia biyashara. Kuna kati nikuwa na struggle na 10,000. Sikuizi na upalit na hundreds and millions of shillings. Lakini kuna hile vogu njigine sinja fika. Mungi unajaimu kupaka kutuma sadaka ya hii. Sadaka ya unajua sadaka zineza tupatua majina mengi. Na siyo vibaya. Lakini unawana kitu evanyiki. Jua kumba mungu wakuna shida. Na si sadaka kukuna shida. Ni some more dedication. Mungu nasema kuna kitu kama kuja kalibia kalibia zaidi kuna kitu nataka kutoka kwako wakati abraham alifika ile level now god could give him anything yani to him now nothing could matter to him na hiyo that was the last sacrifice abraham that was the last altar he raised this altar of dedication apostle huwa anasema i like this statement he puts this way anasema the world has not seen what god can do you sing a man who is fully devoted to God. Devotion is a major key. Devotion itakufanya o value. Your value system itabadilika. Mamba bayo na diopauro na fika maria na sema, yale ya liyo kuwa faida kwa angu sasa na esabu ni buri. Because I have lost everything to the knowledge and the excellency of Christ. Everything else is nothing. Nina muinua Christu. There is that level. Na hiyo levo itakuzuhidia usianguke katika temptation. Ya love of money, loving the world, and the things they are off. Abraham, it was now between him and God. Hakuna kitu kikuwa kina msumbua, ilikuwa ni usiano wangu na mungu. Hallelujah. Daka tusimba mina kwa daika moja tu, the few minutes tuko nazo. And I want us to pray to God. Help me to raise, to understand where I am 
in those levels najua kwamba kuna kila mmoja nisema nikimalizia utajua mahali uko utajua mahali Mungu wengine tuko ya tatu wengine tuko ya kwanza bado na unaweza sema kwamba nimeokoka miaka mingi unaweza kuwa umeokoka miaka mingi lakini bado Mungu anasema uko level namba moja kuna determination sijaona ndani yako ya yeah, Mungu anakuambia naweza sema ndio ni umekuwa na determination lakini kuna alta hujainua ya occupation macho yako hayajafanywa kazi miguu kuna hatua hautukui because level dhiri kuna hatua ni lazima uanze kuchukua kuna mambo ni lazima uanze kuaminia Mungu na sio kuamini tu sio kuona tu kuchukua hatua kuanza kuendelea na kusema sasa na inaanza hiyo biashara sasa ninaanza kuwekeza hapa hata kama nilishindwa bereni adwe gine tatuko level dhiri kuna mambo tumeanza kuona yakitembea maisha ni mwetu lakini bado Mungu anasema there is a level four i'm waiting the yeah. hata uwe ni utajiri mkubwa he that's why abraham was a billionaire and he reached heaven that is why the servant of god job was a millionaire and he reached heaven because wealth to him did not take the place of god haiku utajiri haukuingia ndani ya moyo wake utajiri ulikaa kwenye mifugo na kwenye mabanka lakini moyo wake alikupatia mungu oh my god ndio maana mtumishi wa bwana ayuba anasema though he slays me bado nitamtumainia hata akiniua bado nitamtumainia that's why kina daniel wangesema mfalme sikiza sisi hatuna shida either mungu atatuokoa ama hatatuokoa sisi hatuwezi tukabadilisha nia zetu oh my god siku na dedication imekosa kanisani katisa na siku za mwisho kuna kitu kimekosekana especially that level of devotion that level of dedication that level of full trust and hope in the god of heaven and other the god who caused the dead back to life biblia sema kwamba mtumishi wa mungu aliamini ya kwamba mungu ako na uwezo wa kufufua hali ambayo nimekufa ni, ni, ni kabisa hali ambayo hakuna tumaini aliamini huyu mungu na at the age of 99 years he was able to receive a child Oh God you are the same God yesterday today and forever help us oh God to understand and to walk with you oh sim tumishi wako bwana alitembea na wewe licha ya shortcomings zake licha ya mistakes alizofanya si alimsali Mungu alimsaidia kwa nini wewe ambao ulianguka kwa nini ambao ulipigongwa na discouragement uko ni kana mambo hayafanyiki Bona unaruhusu kukaa hapo. The Bible says a righteous man may fall seven times but you rise up again. Kataa kukaa mahali pale mwa kuanguka. Kubali kusimama, kubali kuendelea. Na they tell you today that the path of the righteous will be like the first gleam of the dawn. It will shine brighter and brighter. Usitosheke na kile kiwango cha mwangaza kuko na, unatembea nacho saa hizi. Usitosheke na hilo level umefika. Usitosheke na mwangaza ambao unatembea nao siku ya leo. There is a brighter light. The light can shine brighter than where you than the the, the, the current intensity. Ule mwangaza uko nao saa hizi. Hautoshi kuna level zaidi. Kuna mwanga zaidi. Kuna mwanga zaidi. Na rise shine for the glory of God shall rise up upon you. This is the last season. Aba Mungu anataka kuinua watu wengi kama mienge, kama nyota zikazuke. Mwangaza wao ukaanze kuonekana hata kama wametoka mbali, hata kama siku ya leo wao watu hata wacha muamini Mungu, wako kwenye vilabu, wengine wako katika uabudu wa shetani. God is waiting for you. He is waiting for you to raise the out of salvation. Uanze kutembea na yeye paka ukue dedicated fully as a vessel that can be used. Oh, nikwambie the more you get lies in those levels, the more God can entrust to you spiritual gifts, physical wealth, spiritual riches can only be released when you are at certain levels. Ema shatara maganda Greka baze kama ganda tujiombe wapendwa ya kwamba hata mwaka huu maana Mungu anatafuta vyombo ambavyo vimetakasika anatafuta vyombo ambavyo hata watu ambao wameamini Mungu wamekubaliana na Mungu ya kwamba kile Mungu anataka kufanya hasikitaweza kuzuiliwa Greka bashanda tunapoombea taifa letu ni lazima tuamini Mungu ya kwamba yeye ni Mungu atendaye mambo makuu ya maajabu ni lazima tuamini huyu Mungu ambaye utenda mambo ya pitao fahamu zetu katika jina la Yesu Kristo Rima shatara maganda Rima zika maganda 
Oh my God, let you show yourself mighty. Let you show yourself mighty in our day. Lord, may you raise a consecrated church, a church that is dedicated. Rima Shata Rabaganda, Rika Mazika Maganda, Sheka Rababuzaya, to Ezekuji Komit Komungu, to Mabia Bwana Mungus Mwakahu. I want to dedicate myself the more, to release myself the more. Kuji Wachidia Kwakobwana, U Katfanya Jinsi Upendavio, Nisa Dia Kufika, Katika Upeo Wangu, Katika Jina Raisu Christo, Rika Bashata Maganda. The Bible says since the ancient times, Isaiah 64 and verse 4. Isaiah chapter 64 and verse 4. The Bible says since the ancient of times, no one has heard, no ear has perceived, no I have seen any God besides you who acts on behalf of those who wait for him. Isaiah 64 verse 4. Yakoba kutoka enzi hadi enzi zote. Hakuna mutu, hakuna, hakuna mutu wa benchai sikia. Hakuna masikio imeshai sikia. Hakuna macho imeshai yona mungu kama wewe. You work on behalf on those who wait for you. King James version of the same verse. Recover shatara baganda. For the since the beginning of the world. Have not, have not heard nor perceived by the ear. Neither has the eye seen. Oh God besides you. He that prepared uh, prepared for him that waited for him. New Living Translation of the same word. New Living Translation. For since the world began, no ear has heard, no eye has seen a God like you who works for those who wait for him, those who are fully given to him. Mungu ni kwambie, hakuna macho mesha yona, kire mungu anataka kufanya. God is waiting for a dedicated vessel. A person who is fully dedicated. Hakuna kitu mungu wezi ya kakupatia. Hakuna utajiri. Oh, Bibiya inasema kwa jikitabu chawarumi. If he gave us our, his son, how much more along with him will he not give us all things? If he gave us his son, how much more alongside him will he not give us all things? In the book of Romans, tuka mwaminie mungu. It is a dedication. Ukiona kuna kiwango ujafika. Anakuambia kuna levo nataka na kugojea. We uko hapa chini, nami na kugoja hapa juu. Si ukachukue zile hatua, ukaanze kupanda. Umabia mwana nitaingia kwenye hile olevo katika jina Raiso Kristo. Rima shata rabaganda, wapendwa mwaka huu. Ni mwaka uko mbao tunautarajiwa makubwa. Mwiri wa Kristo tukona matarajiwa makubwa. Bingu inatugojea. Kenya in a to go to set things in place, but if you are not dedicated, an undedicated believer, an undedicated saint cannot dedicate a, a, an evil nation. We need to dedicate ourselves if you are going to dedicate this nation back to God. God is looking for someone. God is looking for someone. It is not in terms of numbers. Siko bakuna watu wa miokoka, lakibi inasema, alitafuta watu wa kufanya kazi. Maana kazi ni nyingi, watenda kazi ni wachache. Wale wamekosa ni kwa sababu, kichungi cha mungu kime wakata. Wakati mungu wanaika mizani yake, wanakataliwa na mna system. System inasema huyu, hata weza kutumika. Siuka seme buwana, may I become this vessel that you want to use in this year to bring healing and deliverance in the nation. May I be this vessel. Help me to let go things I need to let go. This unforgiveness, this bitterness, this jealousy, spirit of competition, this love of money, lust of the eye, lust of the flesh, pride, I need to let go. Oh Lord, help me to do it. Help me to let go. Help me to rise. Rekaba shatarabaganda. Rekaba shatarabaganda. Grima Baba Zika Maganda. Grima Bushata Ramaganda. Lord, we know there is nothing too hard for you. 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 Rika Raba Shanda. Rika Bashanda. Yes, Lord God Almighty. Tunakwamini Bwana. Umea hidi kutena mamu makubwa. Umiabidi hidi kuleta uvuvio katika taifa letu. Umiahidi bwana kututuma kwa mataifa. Lakini ile version tuko. Wengine tumegojua level ya ine. Bado we are dealing in level number one. 
we are still going hoping to and fro mara tuko misri mara tumerudi oh how do you make god jewa kule mbele mungu anasema right you are getting you are ni nani right you are getting you are kuishi maisha utaua the prophets the breakthrough angepata oh wengine tuko level ya pili tulikatalia mahali pale mara ume make decision mara ume igairi mara umeachilia mara umeshikilia you don't have consistency bwana anasema i'm waiting i'm waiting i'm waiting i'm waiting the lord is saying i'm waiting for someone the lord is saying i'm waiting for someone reka bashata rabaganda reka mazika maganda sheka tarabaganda reka bashata baganda re mazika maganda ribabu zaya oh yes lord this day we want to look unto you and your mighty power there this is uh, pastor Isaac here uh, Isaac I'm born again uh, Jesus is Lord I'm um, a preacher of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ and I thank you for watching uh, that video and uh, maybe you are there if you are not born again or if you are a backslider and you want to rededicate your life to Jesus the Bible says what does it benefit a man to gain the whole world and yes yet we will say so your soul is the greatest uh, investment of god in your life you have the choice to make it, to make it or break it in your life but when you give your life to jesus you have an opportunity to live forever uh, to get born again you just need to believe in your heart and confess with your mouth and you will be born again the bible says in the book of first john chapter 5 and verse 12 that he who has the son has life he who does not have the son does not have life therefore if you want to receive jesus also the scripture says in the book of uh, romans chapter 10 verse 10 that it is with your heart that you believe and are justified and it is with your mouth that you confess and are saved and whoever calls upon the name of the lord shall be saved so you want to make that decision Uh, see after me Lord Jesus today I make this decision to give you my heart to accept you as the Lord and Savior of my life write my name in the Lamb's book of life I desire to live for you Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Grant me the grace to say no to all unrighteousness and to say yes to the things of righteousness and to holiness. I believe you today and accept you in Jesus' name. Amen. If you have said that prayer, you are born again now. May the Lord lead you to a good church, to a Bible-believing church. Uh, and also uh, spirit filled church also can can share your number we can send you some materials basic materials for your growth as a new believer and i believe that you make it to heaven by faith in jesus name amen